Welcome little scientists, it's Gisa from Butterfly Garden Preschool. Today we're going to continue talking about the creatures that live in the midnight zone um, or the deep sea. Last week I asked all of you which animals you wanted to learn about and Kiri reached out and asked to learn more about the saphonophore and the vampire squid. So we are going to learn a little bit about those animals as well as my personal favorite, the anglerfish. Vampire squid live so deep in the ocean that very little light makes it down there. Did you know that vampire squid are not actually squid but a mollusks? Mollusks are a group of animals that have common body features. Snails, slugs, octopus, and clams are all mollusks. Vampire squid have a reddish color and skin that connects its arms and looks like a cape. It has eight arms and two tentacles. Vampire squid do not eat live animals, but instead catch plant and animal particles that float down to the bottom of the ocean from the surface of the ocean. The vampire squid has bioluminescence that it releases to confuse its predators and make its getaway. The vampire squid also produce light at the tips of each of its arms, which scientists think is used for communication. Another way vampire squid protect themselves is by flipping their capes over their bodies to make it harder for predators to see in the dark. The next deep sea animal that we're going to talk about is the saphonophore, which are long, clear fish that belong to the same family as sea jellies and sea anemones called cnidaria. They are long, clear creatures and each one is made up of lots of smaller animals that fasten together. Siphonophores spend their entire lives in the deep sea. They catch their food with their stinging tentacles, which are hidden in their red stomach. When they are disturbed, they give off a green or blue glow. One of the most famous siphonophores is the Portuguese man of war, which can give a painful sting even after it's died. Siphonophores can be one of the longest animals in the world. Some are even longer than blue whales. Now, my personal favorite is the anglerfish. The anglerfish are fascinating to me. They have an interesting look and use their bioluminescent lure above their large stretchy mouths to attract prey and then gobble it up. It can eat prey up to twice its own size because its mouth stretches so much. Female anglerfish are bigger than male anglerfish. The male anglerfish are tiny and attach themselves to the female's underside and feeds off the female's blood. Eventually, the male's eyes and body disappear and the parts of him that remain are used by the female to reproduce her babies. Isn't that so interesting? I don't know any other animal that does that. I hope that you've learned a little bit more about the deep sea creatures. If you are interested in any other deep sea creatures, let me know in the comments below because I'm happy to include them in our next lesson. Thanks for watching. Please support our channel by liking and subscribing.